Hello friends, this video on Forest Tower Lifeline Part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So we saw that forests are very important to us and that is why we are spending time understanding and knowing more about forests. Now the question is when so many different types of living organisms live inside forest, how do these different life forms interact with each other in a forest? So animals are also there, insects are also there, birds are also there, plants are also there. So how they are dependent on each other? How do they interact with each other? So that is something which we are going to understand in the next section. So the various life forms in a forest, they can be classified into two categories based on how they obtain their food. Now, based on fooding habits, I already uh, talked about herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. That is one who eats plants, one who eats flesh and one who eats both. But now we are talking on a more, you know, broader scale. We will see that there are two categories of organisms. One who can prepare their own food and they are called autotrophs. Auto means self. So they are self-dependent for their food. So examples of such uh, autotrophs are plants. Now how do plants prepare their food? By the process of photosynthesis. So they do not depend on any other organism for their food. So they can prepare their own food in presence of sunlight. The next category of life forms are the heterotrophs. So hetero are those who depend on others. So they depend on other organisms for their food. Now they can depend on plants for their food. For example, now all these herbivores, carnivores, they all come under heterotrophs. So whether you talk about herbivores, they are also heterotrophs because they are dependent on plants for their food. If you talk about carnivores, they are also heterotrophs because they are dependent on the herbivores. And these herbivores are dependent on plants. So basically carnivores are dependent on the herbivores. Similarly, if you talk about omnivores, they are also dependent on them. So basically uh, only plants and some bacteria and algae, they are the only ones who are capable of carrying out photosynthesis and therefore they are autotrophs. All other living organisms fall in the, ca in the category of heterotrophs. So now, so from this you can get an idea that heterotrophs are dependent on autotrophs for their survival. So in a forest also the same thing holds true. So here you can see these are the examples of the carnivores. So these are the carnivores, these are the herbivores. So here we talk about a new concept called food chain. What is this food chain? Now in a forest, it is like one organism derives its food from other organisms. So they are dependent on each other. And this, this is how this dependency gives rise to a chain by which organisms obtain their food. And this is termed as food chain. So food chain is a series of living organisms feeding on one another. So let us look at this simple example. So you have plants. So plants are eaten by deer. So deer they eat plants so because they are herbivores. So they depend on plants for their food. Now this deer becomes a food to some other animal like tiger because the tiger eats the deer. So basically it became a chain. So first is plant, plant eaten up by the deer and the deer eaten up by the lion or the tiger. So this it, it formed a chain. So this was the level one, this was the level two, this was the level three. So it is just one chain. So plant eaten by deer, deer eaten by tiger. So this is an example of a food chain. So it is a three step food chain because you have three levels or three steps in it. So this is a food chain. Now in food chain, you have different levels like the previous example which I gave that had three levels. Now some food chains can have four steps, some food chains can have five steps, some can also have six steps. So each level of a food chain is known as trophic level. So we call it as first trophic level, second trophic level, third trophic level and so on. In fact in this screen also you can see the example of a food chain where grass is eaten up by the grasshopper, grasshopper is eaten by the frog 
frog is eaten by the snake, snake is eaten by the hawk. So here you see you have one, two, three, four, five. So you have five steps. So a food chain can have more number of steps, it can have less number of steps. And any organism which is a part of one food chain can also be a part of another food chain. For example, uh, frog, if you take example of frog, it is not that frog eats only grasshoppers. Frogs can also eat other insects. Frogs can also eat some tiny worms. So similar and the same is true for other organisms also. For example, a tiger can eat a deer. A tiger can also eat uh, say a buffalo. So basically one organism can eat, can, can have multiple food options. So therefore one organism can be a part of multiple food chains. Right? So here in this example, each of these level will be termed as the trophic level. So we call it as first trophic level, second trophic level, third trophic level, fourth trophic level. So that's how we define the levels of a food chain. Now as I said that the steps in a food chain can be less, it can be more. Now the minimum number of steps in a food chain has to be two, obviously. Otherwise you are not forming a chain. right? So a two step food chain could be something like this plants eaten by the elephants maybe the elephant is not if the elephant is not being eaten by anybody else in that case it is a two step food chain they, there can be three steps food chain that is plants eaten by the deer deer eaten by the tiger you can have a four steps food chain where you see the plants are eaten up by the goat goat is eaten up by this fox and it is eaten up by the lion you can also have a five steps food chain, the same example which I uh, showed in the previous slide. Plants eaten by grasshopper which in turn is eaten up by the frog. Frog is eaten up by the snake and the snake finally is eaten up by the hawk. So it depends. So there exists multiple food chain in an ecosystem. Now, especially when you talk about a forest, in, inside the forest you have variety of plants, you have variety of animals, birds, insects, so everything is present in huge variety. So every organism has a lot of options as their food. So many food chains exist inside a forest ecosystem. However, the concept of food chain is not limited to forests. So food chain exists in different ecosystems. Now what are ecosystems? It is like uh, you can say a small world within itself. So forest is an example of an ecosystem where you have everything. All the organisms inside the forest, they do not have to come out of forest for any of their needs. So they get everything within the forest. Similarly, if you take example of a garden, a garden is also an example of an ecosystem. Uh, an ocean is also an example of an ecosystem. So here you can see examples of food chain in different ecosystems. So this is the example of forest where the grass is eaten up by the goat or deer which in turn is eaten up by the fox or jackal which in turn is eaten up by the lion. Again, if you take the example of an ecosystem in ocean, ocean is also an example of ecosystem because all the aquatic animals, they get all that they need within the ocean. They don't have to come out of it. So you see that some aquatic plants are eaten up by small tiny aquatic insects, which in turn is eaten up by the small fishes and the small fishes are eaten up by the big fishes. Again, if you take the example of a garden, garden is also an example of ecosystem. In garden, you have plants which where from where the insects obtain their nectars and then the insects are eaten up by the birds. Birds are eaten up by bigger birds like hawk. So these are all examples of ecosystem and in every ecosystem, food chains exist. Now, since we are specifically talking about forests now, so we, we focused more on the ecosystems which occur within a forest. Okay. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.